Okay, so in this particular clip, it's the same exact game that I was playing. Um, this guy is fighting above me when I'm fighting the at the police station. So that's I, that's how I know that he's there. He has a helo that lands there. That part's cut out, and I blow it up. He's a little aggravated. Our loadouts drop in, and I go and grab mine. His drops right next to it, and as you can see, we're right here at the gas. And he was above me in that complex area, right? So I know where he's coming from. Maybe not the exact building, but I know the direction he's coming from. And I know he's coming for his loadout because everybody wants to get their loadout. So I get mine first, and I start driving away to bait the shots, which is exactly what happens. He does shoot me. He gets a pretty good shot. He takes away a plate and a half. Uh, the next thing I want to do before I even turn around and try and go engage him, I want to plate up. I want to get some cover. You want to plate up. It's exactly what you want to do. That's what I do, right? I also got a trophy system. He can't throw C4 and blow my vehicle up. So this is going to be a safe push while he's getting his load out. As I'm going down through here, I'm looking. I can see him jumping up in this particular situation. Now, what he should have done, giving you an, uh, giving you an idea of what to do when you are in this particular situation, he could have either A, jumped over the fence, right, or he could have kept running up to get cover where the wall is. But standing right here in the open, like, yeah, he's got a tree to protect him, is not the play. You don't want to just sit there and, and, and just start shooting. I'm in a vehicle. Unless you've got some dead on aim. You, you just don't need to do that. So my play, what I personally would have done is just jumped over the fence and then wrapped around to the left and tried to make it into the building or at least give myself a better position of a gunfight. Not right here in the opening. And we're going to see what happens. So immediately right here, I've jumped out. You can see my character standing outside of the vehicle in the back left. You can see him still lighting up the car. Why? Because the car is still red on his screen. He still thinks that I'm in the vehicle. He jumps over to his right. I jump over to my right as he's uh, shooting and he's missing every shot while I'm hitting every shot. And I get a quick kill, easy kill. Also, notice what I'm doing. I'm looting fast. I'm not just standing still. I, again, whenever you're playing, make sure you're looting as fast as possible. You know, you know exactly what you want to get, when you want to get it. I know I need a deddy, so I'm looking for a deddy. I know I need plates, so I'm looking for plates. If I know I need money, I'm looking for money. We're always looking for money. But anyways, you get my point. Don't just sit there and be looking at the especially after you have your loadout. No time to compare guns. Don't do any of that. Even whenever you first drop in. You know, and you're going for your ground loot weapons and stuff like that. There's not much of a difference. Once you find a gun that you are very comfortable with, unless you kill someone with a loadout, there's no reason to switch out guns. All right, so the last clip had a camper and then had someone who wasn't necessarily camping. But I thought you guys might like that one. This one is another camper. This is the same exact uh, game. Uh, this, is another, this is the same solos that we were talking about. So I have a guy who was just shooting at me. Uh, he's coming from, It's coming from the red building. So I'm in my car. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I know exactly where he's coming from. It's coming from this window right here. And what I want to do is I'm gonna push in. He's got a couple shots in. I know because of that window that he's on the very next floor up, right? So now I'm gonna use the stairs as a as a perfect head glitch in order to ensure that I'm able to take him out. Because if he peeks me without mounting the wall, his whole body is gonna be exposed. Versus only my head's going to be exposed. So that's going to give me the better opportunity to win. Like if he's hitting his shots, yes, he's going to be doing more damage because it's a head shot. But my head's a lot smaller than his torso. So it's, it's, a, it's a safe bet that he's not going to have those shots. As you can see, I'm peeking right here. He's already killed someone because there's a bunch of loot right there. I'll go ahead and step up to get myself a little bit closer because I do know towards the end of that door it's it's a little out of range for the heartbeat sensor if I'm not mistaken and that's exactly why I did that but as soon as he steps out I start to step back down I don't immediately try to challenge him by aiming down sights why because I'm still dealing with the animation of that heartbeat sensor and I know that if I'm just standing there trying to aim down sights with that heartbeat sensor out I'm done for so my my, my my best bet, my best bet and safest bet is to go ahead and just come back down into cover. 
Even if he pushes me from that distance, I'm going to, I'm going to hear him coming. So I'll go ahead and, and I just challenge it. Uh, instead of putting up a chow, I know he's standing out in the open. He ends up throwing some thermite. He gets me a little bit, but I get the kill. Yo, if you enjoyed the video, I asked you please hit the like button. It really does help out a lot. Also, check out either the video I just uploaded yesterday or the shorts playlist. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.